As part of efforts to reposition in the nation in global trade, the Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment has relaunched the National Trade Facilitation Committee, NTFC, to integrate with the Presidential Council on Industrial Revitalization. The Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Dr. Doris Uzoka Anete, announced this in Abuja during the relaunch and reintegration of the committee while charging members to ensure adequate realization of the renewed hope agenda of economic stability business correspondent ile emeje has details in her keynote address at the relaunch of the national trade facilitation committee ntfc in abuja minister of industry trade and investment dr doris uzoka anite says the eight point economic agenda of mr president is capable of transforming the nation especially in trade facilitation while noting the need for an efficient trade facilitation roadmap the integration of the Trade Facilitation and Liberalization Subcommittee of the Presidential Council on Industrial Revitalization and the National Trade Facilitation Committee into a single entity is a strategic move aimed at realizing the Economic Diversification and Sustainable Development Plan of this current administration. It aligns with the eight-point agenda of Mr. President as well as with the triple mandate of my ministry to ensure the prosperity of industry, trade and investment in our country. Dr. Anite acknowledged that it's in line with the growth of the economy. I would like to assure all stakeholders that my ministry will continue in its efforts to further liberalize trade and investment for the benefit of Nigeria as well as our trading partners. This will no doubt help the country to enhance its competitiveness in the global economy. Furthermore, the Nigerian government, recognizing the significant impact of the National Trade Facilitation Committee in domestic and international trade activities over the years, have decided to utilize the National Trade Facilitation Committee as a national monitoring committee on non-tariff barriers. This decision aims to address trade barriers in Nigeria. Also speaking, the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Customs, Mr. Bashir Adewale, reiterated support, referenced advanced technology while reiterating benefits. The timing of this relaunch is therefore very apt, as it allows us to adapt to the changing dynamics of international trade and position ourselves for success in the global market space. In addition to risk management, and electronic customs clearance processes. Nigeria Customs Service is integrating advanced ruling system, the authorized economic operator program, AEO, post clearance audits, and artificial intelligence based profiling and scanners into our facilitation efforts to modernize our operations, to enhance compliance with trade regulations in order to create a more efficient and secure trading environment for business in Nigeria. They further urge members of the committee to work hard in order to ensure the prosperity of industry, trade and investment of the nation. Ile, Emeje, Aso Television News. Effective collaboration across strata of society has been identified as imperative for economic growth, good governance and well-being of all citizens. Nigerian Country Director of International Alert, Mr. Paul Nyaloku Benshina, alongside other stakeholders at a sensitization workshop in Abuja, applauded government effort while affirming resultant impact of collaboration. Again, correspondent Ile Emeje has details. Speaking in an interview at the sideline of a sensitization workshop in Abuja, Nigeria Country Director, International Alert, Mr. Paul Nyulaku Bamshino, noted relevance of the workshop, particularly on collaboration. I think there's been a, a long conversation around the relationship between the public and the police, uh, but the police is Nigeria police. And so what that means is that the police is owned and should be supported by Nigerians, as well as the police is run by the country and by true taxpayers' money, and they should also support the public. Um, I think it's a symbiotic relationship. The public need the police, and the police need the public. And when we talk about the public, we're also talking about communities that are underserved, unrich, and where coverage is really limited. Other special guests present explained that 
economic sustainability helps on an enhanced collaborative effort. Nigerians need to partner with law enforcement agencies in securing their communities. When you see something that is wrong, you need to say it in good time and say it to the appropriate person so that good action will be taken in good time. Nigeria need to be part of solving the problems we have. Participants cut across civil society group, security personnel, some economic actors and members of the press. Because part of the basic necessities of life is food, clothes and shelter. Shelter is about security. It's not just about a roof we put over our head. And if it is a basic necessity, we must do everything. Every hand must Ile, Imeje, Aso Television News. And that's the bulletin. Many thanks for staying with us. I am Zara Mantu Mohammed.